You have a feeling of being embraced, so to speak. There's no architecture without light. The sensitivity for architecture, I believe, must be like that of the sculptor, who feels with his hands. Architecture is something material. However, it's obvious that if there is no light, if it is dark, you cannot see. Light is becoming increasingly part and parcel of the church's functions. The light was conceived as a means of dialogue and invocation. Light is God's greatness. It is goodness. It is aspiration. It is truth. The natural light comes from the windows, while the artificial light is installed along the spine rising from the entrance up to the altar where it reaches its highest point. It is the lighting effect that pervades the entire space and establishes a communion with the spirit. Through the sophisticated interplay of light and shadows, architecture becomes an act of vision. This is a church, so the half-lit spaces favor inner contemplation. Light has a meaning when there's a contrast, when you can either be stark or extremely well-balanced, not with darkness, but with shadows. In the lighting plan, the details and spaces are balanced to avoid that too much light can impair proper perception. Special attention was focused on highlighting the ribs. Each spotlight shapes the beam of light to obtain a blade that hits the surface with great precision. The effect is breathtaking. The light is projected from the bottom of each rib, slowly fades away, until it suddenly intensifies, thus highlighting the summit. Batten lights with linear fluorescent lamps hidden beyond the inner walls were used for the wooden ceiling. The batten light ensures excellent diffuse lighting, simulating at night the effect of sunlight reflected by the water surface and filtered through the glass window. Light enhances Light creates effects, symbolism, and sensations. The lighting plan for the Church of San Francesco includes an innovative light control system called the Scene Equalizer. You can save different lighting scenes that can be changed or integrated at any moment and easily load them whenever you please. You have the holiday lighting covering the entire audience and altar and the weekday lighting for when there are less people attending Mass. Then there's lighting for mediation when there are no religious services. It highlights the ribs and the lower part of the ceiling. The lighting can vary from an extremely lavish, festive, paschal and celebratory effect to a simpler and softer one fit for the faithful collected in prayer. The lighting effects affect the emotional codes of reality and open the spirit to a wide variety of feelings. Thanks to technology, light enhances the behavior and perceptions of the faithful. The entire system creates a language, integrating function and expression. The main feature of this system is that it's not invasive and that it was easily blended, almost hidden in the structure. It performs its tasks without being perceived as such. Only the result is seen. In this project, light is a powerful means, capable of transforming the outskirts of town and creating a new urban reality. The recessed spotlights installed along the church's perimeter create an airy effect. The entire building seems to rise off the ground. The square and the accessible areas are illuminated with an accurate lighting that enhances volumes and highlights obstacles. Maxi woody fixtures installed on poles and the recessed fixtures on the beams at the entrance bind the surfaces and trace out volumes, creating a feeling that invites visitors to experience the church as a pleasant and safe place. When you're here, you feel protected, you feel closeness and togetherness, you feel protected, almost oriented. It's a hole that actually gives the feeling of tending to something higher.
Hungary. Every church is a living space. Light has the task of revealing this vitality. The lighting of the Church of San Francesco allows visitors to choose the intensity of the experience of the encounter with the sacred, to walk through a space that establishes a bond between matter and the spirit.